Lakash. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs. I've got a little Asda all, and a look of Wilkinson one again. Will calls one, and I've also got some uh, Amster food and some uh, a bag of treats with pets on, which I'll get out in a bit for you. So we'll do this first, and then I've got some uh, news to tell you, um, which I'll go through in a bit. So I got the right size this time. <clears throat> I got two of them, so that's that. So we'll just put these here, shut them in so that nothing falls in. I got another one of these because these are absolutely lovely. The summer lime, Colgate sensitive, with uh, a multi purpose, and I picked up the wrong one, but nevertheless, I usually have pro relief. So, uh, oh well. I wish them would do the same colours. <laughs> Got six packs of um, Dove Bar salt, salt bars. These are on offer £2.25 from Wilco's for six bars. And, and they also had two bars for two quid. So you do the maths. Brilliant offer on that. Got the uh, flosses. Floss sticks. Yeah, I got some. They didn't have any latex ones, but I thought, oh, well, I'll try these. I oh, was getting desperate. So I got two of them. Two of them. And these are the ones I was telling you about, you know, um, the nail files. These are the ones from Wilco's. They were 50 pence. And you get quite a few in there, so I picked up two packs. So these are good for doing little uh, Amster nails as well, like I explained in a previous video. So if you're having trouble nailing, uh, filing in, um, clipping your Amster's nails, a filing one will work, better, will work just as well. Right, Asda. Greaseproof paper. As you can see. Yeah, I've managed to get some after months to um Curex um and sanitizer. Which one is this one anyway? Yeah, the one with the moisturizer. So keeps your hands soft. There you go, I've got two of them, one in my bag and uh some chopped hazelnuts. I've not got had these for um, for quite a while because I just couldn't bear buying them because Casper used to love them. And since he's died, I just couldn't bear getting them. But I thought, well, today I'll get them and just uh, stop being a ninny. <laughs> <clears throat> Ravioli. They didn't have any small tins, so as people's been hogging the shelves again. Two tins of red salmon, boneless and skinless. Some plain porridge oats, which will also sp sprinkle in the Ami's balls. <coughs> and then um, I always have a box of these just in case I have to rush out early at morning. These are quick and easy. I know they can be quick and easy, but um, sometimes I just like uh, these ones as well. So that's all that. That's them there. And that's the Asda one. Have I got anything else to say? No. Now, if you wonder why there's no veggies and everything, it's because I've got loads of veggies, frozen veggies in here, <laughs> and uh, frozen stuff. So <laughs> there's no fruit and veggies on on uh, in this today. Cause I've got enough. I've got bananas, grapes, things like that in the fridge, cabbage and carrots in the fridge. I've got frozen veg in the freezer. So it's mainly mainly just things that I'm running out of. I've got bread, crumpets, things like that. I've got all that in. So um, yeah, so I'll go put these away. And then I'll just show you the free items I got from Pets at Home. So back in a tick. Right, guys. <laughs> right. Got a bag of Pets at Home music, as, uh, as you know, mixed up uh, with the Harry Amster. That's George's mix. And uh, as you know, Arabella and Archie's is Vita Crafty Motion and Harry Amster. And the nuggets uh, need some, needed some fresh nuggets. And I got some... Uh, 
We were running out of treats for here today in Pets at Home, so oh yeah, the only ones he had in is what I've already got. So I've got some of these, uh, what are they now? Carrot biscuit bites. So you'll see some of them in the uh, treat all, uh, treat collection. So, right, quick update. On some of the previous treats that I bought from Viavet and Zoo Plus, didn't go down well. <laughs> Especially the Mr. Johnson ones, the nibbles. So sadly you won't see them in the pet, um, the treat collection because um, none of them liked them, not even George. So, um, so I've had to uh, get rid of some of them, which was a waste. I've, what I've done is I've thrown them outside on the in the in um, for the birds in the in the grass for the birds, so they're not gone to waste. And um, yeah, so some some of the stuff you will not see in the treat collection. Uh, so just bear that in mind. If you don't see some of the items, it's because the Amis just did not like them. They didn't like the, the potato um, the not potato banana chips either. Um, they were a bit burnt, so got got rid of them so the birds can have them. So um, there weren't that many. I mean, the rest of them they uh, they still like, but the mealworm ones are going down a treat. So um, it's a bit gutting. But the second thing is, oh, and they like obviously the JR Farm um, mix drops are going down a treat. So yes, okay. So the second thing is. Uh, some of the stuff is coming in now with the Amazon stuff. So I'm just waiting for three more items. And then uh, it'll all be put together. I've already done two segments of that. Of the Amazon all. And then when everything else has come in, uh, I'll add it all together. You know the dig. Now today I found a new uh, pet website and I've ordered some stuff on there. I'm hoping that someone on here knows knows about it and has ordered stuff on there because I'm a bit nervous because I've not seen it before, and I thought, well, it's the only it's, it's the only place that I've seen a couple of items that I desperately wanted, which I'll show you when they arrive. That Amazon would just shot right up thirty quid delivery, and I'm not paying thirty quid delivery. So I've been looking around and uh, the website I found is called petexpert.co.uk. So if anybody's used that, can you please let me know your experiences? I'm very nervous because I've never used them before. So everything's gone through fine. Payment's gone through fine. Ordered a couple of treats off there as well as the uh, the, the two bigger items that I wanted. And... Um, yeah, I, I just couldn't believe the, the prices on Amazon's that shot up. 30 quid just for delivery. Oh, I'll look around, I thought. And luckily I found it, so I've ordered two of the items, which I want to surprise you with. And uh, some JR Farm treats, because I know the Amis do like the JR Farm ones. And the ones I've ordered, I've not really... Well, one, one two, two of them I've not really used... Well, I've not used before. And one I have had before, but when I had Rizabi and Matilda. So um, so look out for that coming within the next week or so, the Pet Expert All. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it today. I hope you like this uh, small, well, it's, it's not very small, but not as big as the Tesco one was. I've got another Tesco one coming uh, next week, so uh, I'll film that as well. And uh, yeah, then also you've got your Amazon one coming in a couple of weeks and also the Pet Expert next week. So there's a few more videos coming. Um, I've also, now, now that I've done all my research on all the future pets I wanted, I've um, I've now decided on what I'm doing and which I'm getting. So the first one is I'm definitely, definitely getting a kitten, no matter what, because I can't do without cats. I've always got to have a cat. It's a wonder I've been doing without for a year, to be honest. But anyway, so I'll be, I'll be getting once, once the pet shelters are open, I'll be adopting a cat or a kitten. Uh, because I was let down recently. I was supposed to get one on me on um, May the eighteenth, but long story. And uh, well, I wasn't let down. It's just 
is because of the lockdown and things like that, and it's just nobody's fault, really. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm going to go to the cat shelter when it reopens. Um, now, I know you're going to get excited, guys, because I was really, really undecided. But I've decided. Now, wait for it, guys. Wait for it. I decided I will be getting two gerbils um, when the time comes, yeah. Um, I've done all my research now, so I uh, just need to stuff from the cage and things like that. Know they, they need an, um, a gerbilarium, so I'll be looking around for a gerbilarium. And also, next year, touch wood, with some wood, touch wood, <laughs> um, I'm also going to get two rats. So by the end of it, I'm going to have four hamsters because I'm getting an, uh, another male Russian. So I'm going to have four hamsters, two gerbils, two rats and a cat. So that'll be my lot. <laughs> and then uh, later down the line, all being well, probably go down the road of getting some geckos and what have you. But I just want to try gerbils next and, uh, yeah, try rats. I'm also um, found a breeder who breeds Chinese hamsters. So that's a, that is definitely uh, one of, on my bucket list for um, for the future because I, <clears throat> I would definitely want a Chinese. I've tried all the others, but I've not tried a Chinese. And pets home don't do Chinese hamsters either. So, um, But I found a breeder that does them. That does Chinese, so uh, if she still does them when the, when the time comes for me, whenever I'm ready to get a Chinese hamster, then um, I'll ask her. But that's on my bucket list. It's not an emer it's not urgent, but I definitely definitely want a male Russian. I want one which has got a winter white marking, and um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, <laughs> get one of them. So. Because all my previous three, well, Arabella, obviously, she's a Campbell. But my other two previous ones, Casper and Mazabe, they were Campbell as well. So even though they've got winter white in them, but they have, they've got the Campbell marking, as our, as does Arabella. So I just want one now with a winter white marking, even though they'll have a Campbell in, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, you know the ones with a silver coat, like the silver coat, um, silvery grey coat. And they got the and the, the dorsal stripes really really darker than a Campbell's, than a Campbell um than a Campbell one, and because um, you could barely see Arabella's dorsal, and you could barely see Rosabi's and Casper when I had them too, but because uh, they had more of the Campbell marking. But I just want one uh, that has the the, the winter white uh, markings. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm just missing a male Russian, so so I thought, well, so there you go, guys. So be getting uh, all the equipment that I need for gerbils, and then uh, so that be my pet sorted for this year. Two gerbils and one cat aimed for this year, all being well, providing all this lockdown and messing is over with. <laughs> uh, but at least I've done my research now. I know what I want. I know what I can manage. And things like that. So, yeah. Because I'm doing all the spare room out. So, even though I've got the three hamsters with me in my bedroom. In my bedroom um, the spare room will be for the for the other pets. Not the cat. The cat will be with me as well when I get the cat. But the spare pets will be like uh, in the spare room. The, the gerbils will be in there. And the rats will be in there. And then... Uh, so I'll be doing all that out, decorating it, but it's not going to be done overnight, obviously, because um, obviously I've got to get decorator, decorators and stuff like that. And um, if I move, I'm hoping to move. If I move, then obviously um, I'll be doing the pet room in the new place instead. So there's a lot of things to do, to sort out, but apart from that, I can still go ahead and get the gerbils first. So I'm hoping around autumn time, winter time, 
by then, it'll, by then um, all this will be, all, all this will be a calm down a bit. We're open the lockdown, <laughs> and um, gives me time to get the gerbil aerium because I don't want any. I just want to. I just want the perfect one for them. Get the food stuff like that, and uh, see how we go. Right, guys. So I hope you like this, um, and um, I'll get cracking now and get all these put away and. Catch you later.